howling monkeys are native to the Costa Rican rainforest. These students are visiting with their professor. The Earth University students are here to learn about the rainforest firsthand instead of from a textbook. The palm tree is known for its large leaves, as we can see. They're the world's largest leaves, a botanical record. The Earth University campus is a two-hour drive northeast of the capital, San Jose. Here the students learn about agricultural and environmental technology, and they get plenty of hands-on experience, too. Bert Kohlmann heads the Center for Research and Development of Renewable Energy. In less than 10 years, Costa Rica plans to meet all its electricity needs with renewables. Costa Rica has many excellent options when it comes to renewable energy. We have solar energy, geothermal energy, biomass, water power and wind power. We have all of that here in Costa Rica. The lectures are in English. Around two-thirds of the students come from abroad. I'm from Nicaragua. My name is Francisco Leiva. And um, we, I, I think we, with this course I can use all the knowledge to uh, use it uh, in my region because we, we have a lot of wind energy and also solar energy. The students go wherever there's environmental technology, even on top of a roof. This solar energy unit heats water. And what I have here is a little handheld infrared thermometer. So if you hold that to the collector and press the button, then you can read what the temperature of the collector is at the moment. It's registering 35 degrees Celsius. The entire campus maintains high environmental standards. Every newcomer, from students to professors, spends at least one day here, sorting waste. Cans and plastic bottles are all recycled. That's good for the environment because incinerating them would generate harmful CO2. Organic waste is also important. When it's returned to the soil as compost, it binds CO2. These simple techniques help the university operate in a sustainable and climate neutral way. If you want to become carbon neutral, something very important to look at when you're doing your carbon balances is what kind of waste are you producing and what are you doing with it. About a quarter of Costa Rica's population lives in San Jose. And only about 25% of the plastic bottles used here are recycled. A lot of waste ends up in the river. Costa Rica has ambitious environmental and climate protection goals, but there's still a long way to go. Some students are on their way to Lomas de la Alegría, south of Earth University, for some more hands-on experience. They're going to build a simple biogas plant. Most of the plant will be built out of used parts. Old buckets will be used to make large pipes. This works well in small communities. It's a way to build biogas plants cheaply. And this is what the plant looks like when it's finished. The wastewater generated by this household will be transported through the containers and bacteria removed. That will generate methane. We're saving about 10,000 colones of gas each month. That works out to a savings of about 15 euros. The wastewater has been converted into energy. Back at the campus. The university also runs a banana plantation. It's also being operated sustainably. The campus plantation will serve as a model for Costa Rica's large commercial operations. The insects and other small creatures are also important. They help loosen the soil. 
The campus plantation also uses as little chemical fertilizer and pesticides as possible. Most commercial farms will put pesticides within these to kill any insects that are within the bunches. We, however, use a combination of chili and hot pepper. The workers also benefit. They earn more than the local minimum wage, which is equivalent to about 400 euros per month. The bananas are sold abroad. The profits go to fund scholarships for 20 students. It costs about 17,000 euros a year to attend Earth University, but only a few students pay the full cost on their own. See, Over the years, we have been able to convince uh, uh, friends, donors, companies, governments, uh, including the German government, uh, to support an institution like this, to support these kids to come and have this kind of education so that we can break that circle of poverty, we can improve their, uh, their conditions, and they can improve their family, their community, their countries. In return, they're now recording a video message, a message of thanks from 400 students and professors from 30 different countries, which will go out to friends and supporters the world over in time for Christmas.